Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Thursday, February 16, 2023. I'm Donis Wilkinson Keynes. Members of the Nevis Island Administration's Cabinet, the Ministry of Tourism, the Nevis Tourism Authority, and other tourism stakeholders gathered at Nevis's Vance W. Amy International Airport on Wednesday, February 15, for the return of airline Cape Air to the island. It is my great pleasure to extend a warm welcome to everyone to this short ceremony to commemorate not only the return of Cape Air to Nevis, but the start of Cape Air inaugural flight between St. Thomas and Nevis. Let's give Cape Air. CEO of the Nevis Tourism Authority, Devon Leibert, chaired the ceremony. This is an exciting time for Nevis. Do you think so? especially coming out of the impacts of COVID-19. Travel came to an instant haul in late of March 2020. And today, we have witnessed a gradual rebound and rejuvenation of global tourism and tourism on Nevis more specifically. It is because we knew that tourism would have rebounded we saw the need to make sure that ELIF returns to the Vance W. Amory International Airport. Katia Ruiz is the Regional Marketing Director for KPR. We're so excited to be back with this daily service, which it's been, um, uh, we've been waiting for this for a long time since we had to pause our service. Uh, once again, we partner with this amazing destination and we're sure this will be a great boost to Nevis' tourism. Deputy Premier, the Honorable Eric Evelyn, addressed the ceremony on behalf of Premier and the Minister of Tourism, the Honorable Mark Brantley. He commended the NTA for its efforts in, in ensuring that Cape Air returns to Nevis. I am happy that I am part of an administration that listens because we have been listening to the people of Nevis. We have been listening to the residents of the Virgin Islands who are Nevisian. And we have been hearing all along that we need some more life at the Vance Amory International Airport. And so we have listened. And so we would have put the NTA to work to negotiate for us, to ensure that we have more airlift into the Vance Amory International Airport. You would have heard from Mr. Leibert that we have scores of divisions living in the Virgin Islands. And a lot of them want to come home and they would like a direct flight from the Virgin Islands to Nevis. And so we are happy that we were able to make this happen. KPA is offering one flight per day during the week and two flights on Sundays. The daily flights to St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands will depart Nevis at 10.15 a.m. Incoming flights will depart St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands at 5.15 p.m. The Nevis Tourism Authority invites interested persons with a passion for culinary arts to apply for the opportunity to receive a fully funded scholarship for professional courses in plant-based cooking and nutrition at Leeds School of Food and Wine, London, England. The courses will run simultaneously for 10 weeks. Leeds is an industry-leading cookery school offering professional chef diplomas, enthusiast courses and online cooking courses. The courses will commence April 19, 2023 and will end June 29, 2023. The scholarship will cover airfare, course tuition fees, room and board and a stipend. The applicant must be a resident of Nevis, employed within the culinary or hospitality industry for at least five years, willing to act as a brand ambassador for the scholarship and working and living in Nevis. No culinary degree or certification is needed. Persons who are self-employed within the industry will also be considered. Completed applications with supporting documents are due on or before Monday, March 6, 2023. For additional guidance or to submit applications, contact Devon Lybird, Chief Executive Officer, Nevis Tourism Authority, Main Street, Charlestown, Nevis. Call... 869-469-7550 or send an email to applications at nevisisland.com. 
As the police investigate a spate of breakings at construction sites, they are discouraging members of the public from purchasing building materials from illegitimate sources. Superintendent James Francis heads the crime directorate within the Royal St. Christopher and the Navy's police force. He noted that creating a market for stolen items encouraged the perpetrators to continue the illegal activity. There has been a new crime trend where offenders are breaking into storage containers and also makeshift sheds on construction sites and stealing building materials and household items worth thousands of dollars. The general public is advised not to buy any building materials or household items from any individuals who do not possess the relevant business license to sell such items, Superintendent Francis urges. He reminds persons that being found with stolen goods in one's possession, even if they were paid for, is a criminal offence. The law states that a person who receives any property knowing the same to have been stolen or obtained in any way under circumstances which amount to a felony or misdemeanor commits an offence of the like degree whether felony or misdemeanor and on conviction thereof is liable in the case of felony to imprisonment with hard labor for a term not exceeding 10 years in the case of a misdemeanor to imprisonment with or without hard labor for a term not exceeding five years persons with information of anyone selling building materials suspected to be stolen or leading to the recovery of stolen items are asked to call the criminal investigations department at 465-2241 or 662-7062. Still to come, registration open for Culturama 49 competitions. The details after this break. One of the few places that has an untouched beauty that has captivated the hearts of many. Nevis is everything you imagine. Welcome back. The Department of Youth announces that nominations for the Youth Impact 12 Awards in the areas of sports excellence and youth development are open. The deadline for nomination in sports excellence is Friday, February 24th, 2022. The deadline for youth development is March 18th, 2022. Visit the Department of Youth's office upstairs the Reliable Motors Complex in Charlestown to collect a form and nominate your outstanding youth today. For further inquiries, call 469-5521, extension 6710 or 6711. The Culture Armor Secretariat informs the general public that registrations are now open for nine competitions, which will be held as part of Culture Armor 49 from July 27th to August 8th, 2023. The Miss Culture Queen Pageant, the Miss Culture Swimwear Contest, the Mr. Cool Contest, the Mr. and Miss Talented Youth Pageant, the Soka Monarch Contest, the Junior and Senior Kaiser Contests, Emancipation Juve, Road March, and the Junior and Senior Street Parades. Registration forms can be collected from the Culturama Secretariat in the Cotton Ginnery Mall, Charlestown, or they can be downloaded from the Nevis Culturama Festival website, www.culturamanevis.com. Completed registration forms must be returned to the Culturama Secretariat on or before the deadline dates on the registration forms. They can also be emailed to the secretariat at culturamanevis.com. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here with the Department of Information, thank you for viewing.